Meanwhile, city leaders in Hollywood have voted to change the names of three streets named after Confederate generals. The decision was made overnight after an hours long and very heated debate. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live at Hollywood City Hall with more on how people are reacting to the decision. Carrie? Elliot, first of all, more than 140 people signed up to speak on this contentious issue last night before the Hollywood City Commission here. And it was after midnight when commissioners voted five to one with one commissioner not participating in the vote to change the names of those three streets in the city. Lasting late into the night, Hollywood City Commissioners heard from people on many sides of the debate over changing the names of street signs in the city that honored Confederate Generals Lee, Hood, and Forrest, the last of whom was a one-time leader of the KKK. This is not a racial matter, okay? People have turned it into that. What it is, it's a moral mash a matter. Because tearing down the, the, the name of Wood and Lee, that don't change nothing. It doesn't change character. Shortly after midnight Thursday morning, commissioners voted five to one to change the names of the streets, some of which were on through a predominantly African American section of the city. There are more than 1,400 homes on those three streets. State Representative Chevron Jones said he's pleased by the decision. And now that, the, uh, that these street names have happened, now we can move on. Now we can now begin to heal this city, begin to heal our nation, Hollywood. Now our nation, um, that the U.S., uh, that we can do this. We can come together as a nation and do what's right. Also Thursday, Christopher Monzone stood before a judge. He's accused of aggravated assault and several other charges because of this. <laughs> Cell phone video captured him holding a Confederate flag and engaging with supporters of the street name changes. Witnesses say after rough language on both sides, Monzone tried to cross a barricade to get to the demonstrators. Hollywood police arrested him. As for the street names, commissioners are expected to have a meeting again soon to consider alternative names. Now, the man arrested here yesterday is being held in jail on a bond of just more than $3,000. As for the street names, I am told by the city that it will cost between twenty-seven dollars and $29,000 to change all of those street signs throughout the city. That cost is typically paid by the people who apply for street name changes. Live in Hollywood, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Okay.